Got a nice vacuum in here. The vacuum's worth everything. The refrigerator's got a tool shed. This is somebody's entire household. All right, here we go, number 20. How much? Got 100 bucks there. Give it 200. Where? Number 22, number 22, number 23, number 3, 3, number 3, 50, 400, number 4 there, 400, number 450, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 550, 600, 6 and a half, 600, 657, 700, 700, 800, 800, 900, 900, 900, 1,000. $1,000 for $1,000 there. See, how about that? 11, 1200, 1200, 1200, 1250. 1250 going once, I get 400, 1250. One of 13, one of 13, that's 13. One of 13, that's 13. That's going once, twice, one of 1300 bucks and that. So that's way, $1,200. Team Market Hunters, got it. 1250. I give Casey props for showing up this crowd. Hopefully, I don't break my back going through this unit, though. Let's just get this done. It's hot, it's sunny. <sighs> oh, that looks nice. Yeah, but it's just a reproduction that'll print. 20 bucks. Well, look in the warehouse. <laughs> Those are bad. Maybe another 20 bucks for the two. Okay, 15 bucks. <laughs> That's good. That's still at least probably 20 bucks. Cheyenne? Country word mean it? Shania Twain. Is it? Yeah. Oh, the wallet is 37 bucks, so that purse is probably 100. That's actually not a bad side by side. That's 200 bucks. That's cool. A little outdoor bench, 15 bucks. 10 bucks, 80 bucks, 40 bucks. They're lugs. <laughs> 20 bucks. All right, and here we got a bunch of stereo stuff. So this whole box right here is like 80 bucks in here. Rock pot, but it looks like it's really nice condition, 20 bucks. Oh, that's so cool. People actually collect these now. I've seen some of these sell online for like 100 bucks. Something wrapped up. What is that? Some sort of old kitchen stuff. This looks like a cutter of some sort. <gasps> oh. Radvat. That sounds like Scandinavian or actually ice from Iceland or something. It's pretty interesting. I think we should go get this checked out. I don't know. It doesn't really look valuable, to be honest. Yeah, but I love it when we find stuff that you don't know anything about. If I want to keep my schnitzel, I better bring this to somebody who knows what this is for. Oh, I see the glass top back there. Here's the table for a $40 table. Oh, there you go. Rubbermaid cooler. Bigger one. Clumsy. 20 bucks. Oh, it is a fan. That's good. Yeah, 20 bucks for that one. You know, a bunch of Disney VHS movies. Like, you'd be lucky to get a buck a piece. It's got to be three boxes of movies. 60 bucks. I'm hating this locker. I'm going to tell you what. We're going to cut our losses and get this checked out. <laughs> I think this is Danish, so I found a Danish bakery. Hopefully they have samples. Casey and I are solving to meet with Bent Olsen, owner of Olsen's Bakery, to see if he can tell us more about the slicer that we found. Wow. I got a Danish thing, I think. Look at that machine. It's, it's a security device, right? I have not seen that machine for many, many, many heaven's years. It brings me right back to the old country. My grandparents had a machine like this. My great-grandfather had a machine like that, and that's how we got our bread sliced in those days. Oh, it's a bread slicer? It's a Danish rye bread slicer. It has the Danish crown on it. So that means they were selling it to the Danish king. So how do you use it? I mean, just put it in and just chop? Is it that simple? Or? Then pick up the bread. And then. No, this. this is good. That's really good yeah. bread. This totally takes me back to my childhood. Now we move over to this machine from the late 50s, maybe early 60s. <laughs> it's a good time right now. Why don't you check it out? I'll watch the breath. <laughs> oh, wow. Perfect slices. That was great. Just want to make sure which one tastes better. You're just using it as an excuse to it's eat. It's a different slicing. Tastes the same. So how much is this work? As it stands right here. Ooh. I would say $300. Wow. That's pretty good. I would good. say $300. You know what? That is the best money I've ever lost. Pay me in rye bread any day. Try slicing one of these. This is how you slice bread in Denmark. Just like that. This is how you slice bread in Germany. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, doctor. Only one slice of bread. <laughs> one slice of bread.